the chin man. So uh, there was, there's a saying that said, you know, kind of like when good girls go bad, they're going bad forever. And what is it about women liking bad boys? Okay, ma'am, I'm just going to sit back, wait on that one. You know what? Because nerds, it may be hard for you to get, I mean, I've been the smoothest dude ever. That never was me. I've never, you know, you can see the smooth guys. That wasn't me. So, you know, you always see, like, when nerds came in fashion, or good guys or gentlemen, I was like, yeah, okay. Because, you know, the exciting guy wins you know yeah, the guy yeah. with flash and all of that the dude will be and i think because well, i'm talking to an expert but the one of the things is i think that a lot of times women think that men who got it like that can take care and what's yeah. the quiet guy gonna do exactly and you know if it's the whole um that comes with the bad guy you know um, the excitement, what they feel is excitement, but you know, when you mature, you realize that, okay, now I, I, I want peace. I take peace over all that spontaneity and that uh, bravado any day. That is true. So mm -hmm. the book is The Truth About the Lies. And where can we find it once again? SharonMFortune.com and Amazon. Um, Alrighty, so your your practice. Let me ask you about your practice. You've been in practice for how long? I've uh, been in private practice since 2003. Okay. Uh -huh. When did it get to the point where you were like, okay, you knew you had to, you knew you were good at the, okay, you could do the counseling part and I always say this is a business show. Mm -hmm. When did you realize, okay, from the business aspect of it, I can do this? Well, my... I when somebody starts off with, well, Mike, they can ready to give it to you. Well, let me tell you something. There's a story. I started off as an accountant. My undergrad degree was in accounting. You look like you'd be an accountant. Yeah. You know, straight, okay, so you're going from straight up with the numbers to straight up with people telling lies. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, so I know how to audit things. And get yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a very good one. I got to take that one home. So, uh, you're an audit in the truth. Yeah, because exactly. it, it's just that is a yes. good one. That is, yes, we're we're gonna do an audit. That's mm. right. That's now I better doing. not take that one home. Nah. Yeah. So, so the business part of it actually came naturally because I had been in business for seven years before I changed careers. What was yeah. it that made you change the career? So sometimes you see a person as an accountant. That's that's who they are. They hang out their shingle uh -huh. and they're in the gut. You went from hardcore numbers. To having people like me talk about the problems, like you know, <laughs> hey, I thought I was okay. Uh huh. Well, I chose that career when I was eighteen. You know, it was what people told me. I was you were good always at. good with numbers. I was always good with numbers. So you know, accounting was the thing. Like, oh, well, you should major in accounting. You know, I my guy gone all the way through the CPA review. Paid big money for the review. Was about to take the CPA exam, and I said, you know what? I gotta be true to myself. This is really not the way I want to spend the rest of my life. This is not the career that I want. So, so how did you go into from, it's a long way from, you know, number mm -hmm. being counted to <laughs> saving the world. There, there really is. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I was actually auditing psych facilities, nursing homes, <laughs> hospital systems. So the, the human- You were in there. Side. Yeah, exactly. And I felt like I was on the wrong side of the table. So, okay. yeah, switched. So all of a sudden, what was the switch? What was the business environment where you come from? Very structured, corporate, CPA, counting numbers to the other side. It's not as easy to count the wins. Yeah, yeah. Well, the business side of the private practice, you know, I thought I was getting away from a lot of paperwork. It's just as much paperwork in human services. It's probably I a little bit imagine. more. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't get away from the paperwork, but I had the structure. So that was a good thing. I had the structure of keeping, you know, track of things and being accurate and being in compliance. So that helped a lot. Um, now you talk about the human side of it. That's me. That's who I am at my core. You know, I was always the person who was sitting outside with my friends. I was the mediator. You know, I was always the You're person. You were the caregiver. Uh -huh. My friends used to call me Mama Matthews. So <laughs> that's who I was at the core. That's how I knew what I wanted to do. 
And it just kind of all, you know, came together full circle. All right, on the mic, Mike, Mike, Mike King is here. Sharon is here talking about the trend.